Alex here with an events video on Jennifer Abrams versus Steve Sanson and Louis Schneider. An appeal from an underlying civil action implicating defamation and business disparagement on one side and freedom of speech on the other. Mr. Sanson and Schneider sought dismissal under anti-slap statutes in an effort to fend off lawsuits brought against them and Mr. Sanson's organization, Veterans and Politics International. Interest in this case stems from Mr. Sanson's war upon the family division of the 8th Judicial District Court, with Mr. Sanson alleging pervasive corruption throughout the Judicial District and District Judge Bryce Duckworth denouncing Mr. Sanson as the corrupting influence himself, alleging he contaminates the judicial process and attempts to alter the outcomes of individual cases. My name is Steve Sanson, and I want to talk to you about corruption in the Clark County Family Court System. Okay, Okay, let the record reflect that the, that the witness is scowling at counsel. I find that there has been an effort to influence this court outside of the four walls of this courtroom. When Mr. Sanson says that he was court monitoring, what he means is that he was calling and recruiting disgruntled litigants without any regard for the truth. After all, why would the truth be in the way this room? It is the height of hypocrisy to decry corruption and then engage in the very practice you claim to be attacking and shedding light on. Communication with a judicial officer about a specific case, inclusive with veiled threats, is corrupt. This is about outside interference in the administration of justice through intimidation, threats, and improper influence. This is an attack on our system of justice. The underlying cases were disposed of by District Judges Michelle Levitt and Kathy Hardcastle. Ms. Levitt rooted her analysis in a family court case involving an exchange between Ms. Abrams and District Judge Jennifer Elliott which was recorded, retrieved by Mr. Sanson, and published. Ms. Elliott responded by ordering Mr. Sanson to take down his publications only to later vacate that order when Mr. Sanson was confronted by efforts to have him held in contempt of court. Ms. Abrams sued for defamation and Ms. Levitt ultimately ruled that sealing transcripts or closing a hearing does not transform a judicial proceeding into a wholly private matter drawing connections between the legal practices and courtroom behavior of a lawyer, citing case law linking such conduct to matters of public interest, and dismissing Ms. Abrams' lawsuits. District Judge Kathy Hardcastle dismissed the claims against Mr. Scheider despite allegations the video in question was improperly retrieved and handed over to Mr. Sanson on the basis that Mr. Schneider himself is not alleged to have made any defamatory statements. We filed a media request and Chief Justice Mark Gibbons granted that request, allowing us to broadcast live from the Supreme Court of Nevada on December 12th at 1.30 p.m. Jennifer Abrams is represented by Marshall Willick. Steve Sanson is represented by Margaret McGletchie and Alina Schell. And Louis Schneider is represented by Joseph Houston. You can keep up to date on all of our media coverage by visiting our website at www.rnevadajudges.com. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down in the comments below, or you can send us an email at admin at rnevadajudges.com. An absolute decree of divorce is granted. By September 6th, you will pay $6,000 of what is due. I make a finding that paternity has been established. He was a potential danger to his children. We're here for the court's order to show cause. Okay, let's
so that takes care of the motion. We'll make sure that she's going house arrest. As you know, the Supreme Court has 